Hello my fellow paper peeps and creatives. I am doing a video. It's very late in the night or very early in the morning depending on how you look at it. Um, I am, I figured I can't sleep so I'll go ahead and do this video. I'm happy I finally figured out what I'm going to do for an upcoming trip we're taking. And as far as art supplies, journaling, that sort of thing, um, I know it looks like a lot. It's not, and I'll explain. <laughs> it is. I mean, but you know what? There's no judgment here, right? We're all, we're all paper addicts, or you wouldn't be here watching this. Um, the three of you that might be watching this. Um, so I'm going to start off with saying we're getting ready to take a trip that's going to last about ten days first part of the trip is we're flying um, and I don't fly well uh, I in fact I uh, it's a phobia so I actually have to take uh, medication in order to even get on the plane so having any kind of creative thing I was really stressing about having taking what I'm going to take on the plane as far as carry-on as far as suitcase that sort of thing like I want something that I can do without having to think, um, just mindless, because you know you sit in the airport for two hours, be on a plane for five or six hours. We are taking a red eye. Hopefully this time I'll sleep. Last time I did not when we went to New York, and I was up all night, didn't sleep a wink, so I'm going to tire myself out. So I'm hoping that I don't need anything really on the plane. I'm hoping I'm going to sleep there. So that's journey one. But then after that, every couple of days, we're we're taking a car and every couple days we're going to a different state and so there's going to be a lot of time in the car there's going to be downtime in the hotels there's going to be interesting things going on and I don't want to be without my creativity right because that's what you know fills our cup so what I finally figured out is I don't need a lot in my carry-on we are checking in baggage um, for a change because it's such a long trip there's going to be an event um, we have to take extra dress shoes and stuff like that. So we're actually checking baggage this time. So I have a little spare room to work with, um, which is nice. So what I've decided, we're going to start with this. This is what I'm going to do in my carry-on, okay? And, you know, the last few trips I've taken, I didn't prepare, like, art supplies. And then I didn't have them, and... It, our trips were always so rushed and stuff. It, I missed it, but it was okay. This time it's going to be a long, leisurely trip, and I'm not, I'm just going to make sure that I have what I need. So first off, this is what I'm going to do in my carry-on. I've got my planner, um, which has I actually have. What is that phone number for? I actually have a dedicated. Um, journal that has packing itineraries um, to-do lists uh, packing lists just all kinds of stuff to plan and of course if you're obsessed with paper that's fantastic if you have a phobia about flying and you're obsessed with paper it's doubly good right so I've got that in my planner along with our printed itinerary and um, you know my pen, my highlighter that I like to use, so I'm good there. Um, this will be in my carry-on. Along with, this is all I'm taking creatively, right? Um, these are uh, the Susan Toronto coloring book. I actually found in an airport like eight years ago, and I have enjoyed, this is my second of the coloring books and um, I take it camping I take it everywhere it's so small that it's just a great size to travel with and there's so much space to you know color and stuff you can get really creative so I like to color with colored pencils so I've got my colored pencil collection here I love this case um, because it stands up, it fits in a cup holder, depending on the size of your cup holder. Um, I have my colored pencils. I have, I also keep a black 
flare pen for details and then my pencil sharpener all fits in here i to dump that before I go and it's a handy travel case I take this camping I take this everywhere um, it is filled to capacity right now which is unfortunate but hey you know um, I will tell you about that flare pen though if you're a coloring person or you, you're looking for something to do to pass time um, the nice thing about the flare pens, like for this example, this coloring book has all these blocks and you can color them in, but having the flare, you can also add details over the top of the coloring or beside the coloring or whatever. And that's kind of just, I found over time, I really enjoy that. So having that option. Um, I have some other flare pens. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. And I don't know. Like, I don't have room in this for any more. So, I think I could take some of the pencils. Like, do I really need 12 yellow colored pencils? Um, I could take some out and add some of these flared pens. But then again, this is not a thick paper. And it will bleed through a little bit. Like, I can show you. Off topic, right? Um, it does start to bleed through a little bit. So, I don't know. Is it that important? Not really. But this is what's going on in my carry-on. And that's all I need. Because, uh, like I said, I'll be on medication. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be sleeping. Um, that's just in case I'm not. Just mind-numbing, no thought, just putting color on paper, right? How, how easy is that? And I was stressing out at first because I was like, okay, what am I going to do like with all my stuff? And I was thinking, um, I was all going to put all of my carry on. And when I finally realized that I don't need to do that, it really freed up my world a little bit. So this is just a makeup case cosmetics case. I've had this thing for like 10 years. I think I honestly don't even know where I got it. It wasn't Amazon because I didn't shop at Amazon that long ago. <laughs> so, um, and it's, it started off as a planner holder when I first started using planners and then, um, it just has grown from, I just use, I just have it in my, you know, box of cases and it turned out perfect for this trip. This is the first time I've used it for something like this. Um, like I said, I've not taken creative stuff on a flight before. So, I'm going to start this way. So, the nice thing about it is it's flat. It has a lot of compartments. And I did have, like, my pins and stuff in it. But what I found was that made it bulky and I was afraid they were going to break because they weren't real cushioned. Um, I... I had other concerns. Um, so I do daily journaling. Um, I've got a travel journal that I do like collect ephemera from our trips and I put in the travel journal for my husband and I. Um, and I like to art journal. But I didn't feel like I could take all of those, you know, each journal being an inch or two thick and stuff like that and hardcover like I didn't want to take all that with me. Like, I can bring... I have it over here. This is my travel journal with all of our... Like, I have so much... I have pictures. I have all of our stuff in here. I think I have even... Like, I don't even know. A leaf in here. You know, all the different things. And I didn't want to take this because... I, I I will leave something behind, guaranteed. And if it were this, I would be devastated. Because this has all our memories. Better to lose the memories from one trip than all of our, like, voyages, right? So, our recent voyages. That's from 2018 forward, I think. Anyways, so, I decided that the best thing would be, and I didn't want to take my journal which is also like that thick now um i am journaling and i don't use a happy planner for my planner 
but I do use it for journaling. And so what I did is I took some mini rings and some paper, just, uh, this is just craft paper. This isn't even, this is a thin poly, it's not even a real cover. This is just some craft paper out of a packet I have. I have a pouch here to collect stuff in that's punched for Happy Planner. And then I've set up a couple weeks worth of my journal to journal in, okay? Because if we're going to be with family, I'm going to meet my niece for the first time. I'm going to see my brother, whom I haven't seen in years. Um, I'm going to uh, see my child graduate from college. There's just a lot going on. And I know I want to journal about all the family stuff and everything else. So I'm bringing plenty of journal paper. But then I decided in order not to take my travel journal, I cut out papers, pages of scrapbook paper and whatnot. First of all, I made a template of what size my book is. And then I cut out scrapbook papers that would fit it. Now some are a little bigger because uh, I need the, um, I'm gonna trim it or use washi and I'm gonna do a tip in in my journal if that is, if I get in the mood to do full spreads. I haven't done full spreads on the road, but we're going to be on the road for a long time. I'm not taking my sprocket, so I won't be able to do pictures. So I may not use these at all, but I have them here if I want them. Mainly, this is my journaling pages. And so there's that. Then I have a pouch of travel stickers and I took my collection of stickers and I just got the traveling ones and I put them in here I will use this for my daily journal and because we'll be on the road and stuff like that and family and whatnot but then I will also if I want to do my travel journal pages on the road I can because I found before that I kind of wanted to do them on the road when I was bored, but um, mostly what I'll do is I'll take notes probably and bring it back and actually do it in my journal. But this gives me the option of doing it both ways. Um, see, this thing has a lot of storage space in it. It's nice, a lot of flat storage. So then I have a baggie of just ephemera, tissue papers, ripped up pages, um, just... I can't even, I don't want to take it all out, but just, you know, just ripped up papers and whatnot. So if I do want to do some art journaling on those blank pages, I can, because I can take any of those pages out of that and put them in their appropriate journals when I get back. I also have more, <laughs> these are the Happy Planner stickers that I took out of my books. Um, I have uh, journaling as well as travel. So I have both options. This little pouch I have um, swatches of washi that I might like to use on the road. Most of it's travel themed. Some of it's a little family, like you're just flowery clouds, whatever, but most of it's travel themed. And then this is an eraser guard. And I got a little, 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 uh, washi in there too but just some generic um I should say not generic new neutral washies that like I can use this is what I initially started carrying around is so small it's like what three by five so small and this is what I take my notes in while we're traveling when we're planning a trip we make a bucket list of things we want to see I'll take notes in this um, I've got like kind of days planned out in it and then I'll take these notes and I'll transfer them in to this bigger book later but that way if I lose this I don't lose anything more than this trip right so I found um, after probably three or four trips that carrying this little tiny book around is much easier than carrying this ginormous getting thicker by the day or by the trip thing around. Plus 
this gives me the freedom of just jotting down my thoughts to be like made into a pretty, it, this doesn't have to be pretty. This is just jotting down thoughts, record keeping, ideas, memories. And then I can worry later about turning them into a spread. Um, if I want to, like if I'm bored at night and I want to make a pretty spread, I will have the stuff to do it because I've included the pages in here, right, that I can pop in and out and take as many as I want. Um, and I can, you know, create them and later on just do tip-ins into the bigger journal. But I don't have to. I can just use this and take my notes, which I like. And last but not least, oh, wait, wait, wait. And then I have a straight edge. I don't know if you can, you can see it, right? This is um, Diane Reesley's Delusions. Um, I just love this thing. Uh, it's acrylic. Um, it's got a ruler. It's got uh, like stencil -y sort of like you can trace. It's got circles. It's got lining up things. It's got a wavy edge. It's got straight edges. I mean, there, you can do so much with this thing. This is probably one of the most versatile things. One of my favorite creative purchases that I've ever made. I love this. And when it dies, I will cry. But I am taking it with me just so that I have it because it's so universally handy. I have a sketchbook because one of the things I've decided I want to do see um, if I can share my that's not it there it is okay um, sorry not very organized like I said it's like two o'clock in the morning I just can't sleep so I thought I'd share this now because I'm not gonna have time to later so trips in like four or five days and this is the weekend I'm gonna spend a lot of time like packing laundry getting things ready so I like to do this kind of art journaling yeah um this I love doing this so um the way that ties in I'm not going to take this either because if I lost this whole art journal I would be devastated but you can see my attempts at drawing are quite like that's scrappy booky but my attempts at drawing, let me see if I can find, here's another drawing, are quite rudimentary, right? I'm not a great drawer, but I do love doing it. Um, like this is not a drawing, this is something that I cut out, like a paper doll put together, like all patchwork, all different pieces. Um, I would love to, here's, this is a doodle. I would love to actually learn to, to draw, like, real for real <laughs> drawing um, uh, one of my attempts at drawing a face uh, I just would like to learn to draw like for real I did draw that but again it's not perspective wise uh, it's not correct right so I'd like to do better so one of the things I have taken on um, this year, or this year, this month actually, it's recent, is I got a how to draw basics. Um, like, I, I want to draw an apple. I'm going to draw a piece of fruit in a cup. You know, I want to learn to draw the basics so I can go on to do more creative draw drawing and maybe even eventually painting in my art journal. So this is an Amazon basic sketchbook and it is actually to do the exercises. Like this is exercise one, exercise two, I, you know. So we're going to have so much time on the road and honestly, I can do this in the car and I did bring a clip you'll see in my pouch um, because I can do this in the car on the road because it's not about the beginning exercises are not about 
actual mark making they're about seeing visually and practicing that and I don't care how the pictures come out in the sketchbook it's all gonna be scribble scrabble in the beginning anyways so why not do it in the car while we're driving for hours on end um, so anyways all of this fits really nice in this flat cosmetic bag and I'm not gonna spend time putting it back other than I want to get it out of the way Oh, and the nice thing about these pouches, too, is I feel like uh, I can, um, as I collect uh, things from our trip, tickets, um, papers, whatever, I can dedicate one of these pouches. I can move stuff around a little and dedicate one of these pouches just to shove everything into so that it stays safe to come home and actually do the other so this is going in my suitcase, right? And then I have my art bag, which is also DM Reesley. Um, it has a big old piece of tape because it actually came right, not from their, not from Ranger, but from, I got this, I think on Amazon and it was some third party thing and it actually came right, but I don't care because it's just, I just got a piece of black duct tape and it's fine. But this has all my, I've got pens, glue, you know, corrector stuff for journaling. I do have a tiny pair of scissors, and it turns out I did some research. As long as the blade's under three inches, you can take scissors on your carry-on. Don't take anything that matters to you, because you're going to find that one person that's like, nope, can't have it. But regulation is under three inch blades. You can have it. Uh, however, now that I've decided to put this in my carry-on, or in my suitcase, doesn't much matter, but I'm still going with stuff that is not that important to me. Adhesive roll, uh, but my favorite for art journaling, honestly, is just a good old fashioned Elmer's glue stick. It works magic with tissue paper and all kinds of stuff, so I love this. I do have a big giant clip to hold the book open because we'll be in the car and it'll be on my lap. I look, I got all this stuff. I got ink all over me somehow already. Um, this will hold the book open because I'll be in the car trying to do that. Right. Won't go easy. I have an old fashioned pencil, but I also have uh, real pen mechanical pencils in 0705, and I have some little container of lead in there. I have my favorite eraser, which is the. Uh, white soft erasers. I'm not going to take my gummy eraser because it's just going to get all messy and everything. The needleable erasers. I do have some more washy actual rolls. Again, like uh, road trip and neutral. I have white gel pen because you never know when you need to highlight something. And this is the best one. And you know, I did the whole paint painting um and a, uh, 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 paint pens. Oh, I'm knocking stuff over because I want to show you something. Um, I did the whole paint pen thing, and I just find them to be very messy. Like I, I they come out okay, but I'm just not a fan. They're so hard to work with, and they just jam up, jam up, jam up, jam up. So I found that I really like just this white gel pen and it is recommended because I've tried a couple different ones and this is the C Signo Uniball and it has been fantastic in fact I bought like two or three of them because I just it actually works it actually I mean you still have that problem where you have to like kind of I lick lick my finger and rub it on the finger to get that get the ink flowing but once it starts flowing it stays flowing it's not like a paint pen where it stops starts stop starts that just drives me nuts I'm like nobody's got that kind of time in their day <laughs> I'm not a patient person I am taking some glitter pens this is a set I got oh for like I think a dollar ninety nine at a, my very first scrapbook expo like six years ago was it yeah I think it was about six years ago and um these work so amazing. They're just, they're fun. 
they're uh, well pigmented they show up well they roll well they're just like oh they're my favorite like ridiculous finds i did not expect anything to come of these for a dollar 99 and they turned out to be the most amazing pens so taking them just because they'll be fun to color with and because my niece is four she's gonna like to color too i'm assuming so she might like glitter pens and I've got my um, backup highlighters. Got my backup pen because there's a pen in my uh, planner, but I'll be taking an extra one because I can't do anything if I lose my pens. I mean, I could buy more pens on the road if I had to, but those are the pens I like to journal with. And I have lots of room in this bag, and not that you have to fill it up or anything, but. Now that I've decided that this is going in my suitcase and not my carry-on, I feel like it gives me a little more, look, I could still fit some things in there. So it gives me a little more room to play. So I could probably do, I have um, a, a lettering pen that I might take. Is this it? Yeah. A Sharpie lettering pen because maybe I want to make some marks with that. Like, I don't know. But I can add some stuff to this and it'll be fine. Because I still have lots of room. If I can zip it up, it's fine. I may have to do something with this corner. Um, maybe another piece of tape because I don't want anything all over my suitcase, right? So... I may rethink this pouch and do a different pouch, but the point is I, uh, making the change from what I'm going to carry on the plane and what's going in my suitcase has really just made all the difference in the world to my travel plans. So carry on suitcase and I will be at peace. I will be one with the world. I'll have this if I need it. Chances are I will not. Of course I'll have my planner because, you know, who doesn't go anywhere without their planner? But the rest of it gives me options on the road. And I was stressing out about what options I, what I would want or what I might get there and be like, I wish I had. When you're going for a weekend, it's not a big deal. Most of our trips are always like a weekend to four, five days. I think this is the first time we've gone like for 10 days less travel so um I wanted to be sure that I had enough stuff to occupy me with anyways okay so I've kept you guys long enough um I've been like searching YouTube high and low for travel art kits travel uh, journaling kits and things like that and so now that I figured out what I'm gonna take I thought I'd share what I'm doing so I may follow up with what worked and what didn't after the trip. If you think that that would be helpful, let me know down in the comments. And I will let you know how this setup went because I think, I think it's going to work. Okay, thank you for your time. Um, you have a lovely day. Bye-bye.